Hello everybody. In this Rhino video demo, I would like to demonstrate how we can resolve the discontinuity and waviness caused by the convergence of control points onto a single location as shown over here. By the way, this is a viewer requested video. Okay, let's start. As you can see over here, um, the control points are all converging and this causing a discontinuity. I reckon what I need to do is to remove a rectangular region over here and then create a new surface and have the new surface match to the edges. Let me uh, start by creating a point over here so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the object end snap is turned on so that it can snap uh, properly to the end here. And I'm going to use this as the center of the rectangular object that I'm going to create. I'm going to use this rectangle center corner to create the rectangular curve okay maybe something like that it's a good idea to turn on the zebra so that you can see uh, roughly which are the region that needs to be removed i reckon um, i might have to enlarge this to ensure a smoother like uh surface over here i'm gonna turn on the gumball Make this slightly bigger. Okay, maybe something like that. And then I can um do the trim. Cutting object is this. Object to trim and region to trim is this. Okay. I think I can hide this. I don't need this anymore. Okay, you notice. Uh, let me just off this for a while. Okay, you notice that um there is a thick line over here. This is the the seam of this surface, which means this is the region where the two uh, side of the surface meeting. And because of this, uh, two edges has been created here and that will hinder our matching work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to a corner. And to do that, we can use the adjust close surface seam. Okay, make sure the object end snap is turned on. Move it here. And the next thing we need to do is to merge these two edge into one. Go to analyze edge two merge edge. Okay, now um, let me just turn on the zebra again. Let's uh, try to create an initial surface and let's just use the network curve. Personally, I'm not a fan of using the network curve alone because of its propensity to create excessive amount of control points. But let's just use it as an initial assessment. Um, set A, B, C, D to curvature. Click OK. Okay, if you are not familiar with surface continuity principle, um, I recommend you come to this level over here to watch um, videos pertaining to the essentials of surface continuity and evaluation. Now I'm going to add object and see. Uh, as you can see, the result is not desirable. Let me explain why is this so. It's because the surface of the network curve has created too much control points. And the first row controls position, second row controls tangent, C, third row controls curvature. Because of the narrowness of these three rows, our curvature blend is only this narrow band. And this is applied to all the other edges as well. Hence, we have this waviness beyond this region. 
so uh, this is not desirable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create additional guide curves to be used in the subsequent surface creation so let me delete this and what i'm going to do is let me just turn off the zebra i'm going to create curves or rather lines here and here and then project onto this surface and then use the projector curves to create the new um, blended curves go to polyline you might want to turn on the object mix snap Okay, I found the center. And then I'm going to project them onto this surface. And I reckon I can create new curves over here using a uh, adjustable curve blend. Oops, let me repeat this again. Okay, and then we set um one and two both to curvature. Click OK. Then we repeat the process for this side. Okay. Set one and two both to curvature. Click OK. And now let's create a new surface again. I reckon I can try to uh, use a network curve again. But this time, I will have to force the surface creation through the addition of these two new guide curves. Okay. So surface or network curve. And include these two new guide curves okay this will force the surface to pass through the the curves as well okay and click uh, make sure that a b c d are all set to curvature and now let's uh look at the surface and you can see yeah the result is better this is because instead of relying on the surface or network alone to do our match which it tends to give undesirable results we are also are forcing the network curve to create the surface through this previously uh, match or blended curve okay so this will ensure that the, the the resultant surface is not relying only on the surface of network curves to do its matching but actually also um being forced to create a surface via the additional constraint imposed by these guide curves okay And the last thing I, I need to do now is to move this thing back over here. And I can use this adjust close surface seam again. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.